Welcome to this brief demonstration of our integrative approach to learning how to code inpatient procedures with ICD-10 PCS at Libman Education. I'm Lynn Keen, ICD-10 PCS subject matter expert for Libman Education. Our complete library of ICD-10 PCS training materials offer instruction from foundational to advanced, all using our proprietary integrative approach to learning this complex coding system. There are six major aspects of ICD-10 PCS coding. These are anatomy, rules and definitions, guidelines, surgical knowledge, descriptive language, and finally, but maybe most importantly, logic. In my experience, the targeted training that integrates all six aspects of code assignment is the only way to ensure ICD-10 PCS coding that is accurate, complete, and defensible. PCS coding requires a detailed understanding of anatomy, often in greater detail than that needed for CM or CBT coding. The official guidelines, rules, and definitions are the law which govern what we can and cannot code. In-depth surgical knowledge is essential. Coders need to understand the specifics of how a surgical procedure is performed. Interpreting and translating the descriptive language used by providers can be challenging. And logic is what holds the ICD-10 PCS coding system together. Command of the system's logic is essential to the work of coders, allowing them to efficiently and accurately complete their work. Let me show you how we use this integrative approach. We'll use cardiac procedures as an example. We start with the anatomy. The form and function of the heart are shown in detail. Definitions and rules are the foundation for proper coding. Application of the guidelines and appropriate coding clinic advice are explored in detail and explained in the context of the anatomy with helpful illustrations. The courses include instruction on how to select a correct root operation for a procedure. Tables, a unique feature of PCS, are shown to explain code selection. Downloadable references help with interpretation of the documentation during coding. Custom images show exactly what the coder needs to know and increase the understanding of the procedure. Images that portray the sequence of events are used frequently. Videos can explain a complex procedure at just one glance. Videos from device manufacturers are one of my favorite resources for understanding how specific procedures are performed. Important coding details follow the videos. The courses are designed for both instruction and reference. The courses can be completed start to finish to earn the CEU, or the helpful index on the left of each screen can be used to go to specific topics for guidance and instruction. There are resources within the course and additional materials that will help the student to master the material and retain what they learn. The icon for the Merck Manual Professional Edition links the student to carefully selected articles that provide additional information and context for the procedure being studied. We have tools to support the learning of the complex concepts that are unique to PCS coding. Examples of procedural statements give the student a chance to try their hand at the coding. Testing is crucial to ensuring mastery of the material. Knowledge checks are used throughout the course to prepare the learner for the final assessment and the knowledge checks offer rationales for the answers. And now, a final word about why ICD-10 PCS is so challenging and what is needed to master this complex system. With PCS, it is not a matter of looking up a procedure in the codebook. Anatomy knowledge is vital. Compliance with the rules, definitions, and guidelines is essential. Really understanding surgical procedures is absolutely necessary as is the ability to interpret the documentation. But lastly, logic is the integrator. Logic is crucial to the ICD-10 PCS coding process, and our courses bring all of these pieces together for the best possible understanding.